Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I want to talk on the topic of working with friends and or family. Now this is, a lot of people are aware of this. It's just a bad, it's just a bad idea to do so. Um, however, nobody ever really goes into detail why. They tell these ideas that this is a reason, that is a reason, but no one ever gives a prime example or experience. However, this is most people. I actually do know somebody who can give a perfect experience type example of why you shouldn't. But I will also, in return, give an experience of why it should be okay. And I'll compare the two. One way or the other, both of these examples actually have to do with my dad. Um, I'll give the worst of the two experiences first. Now, when I was living with my parents, my dad actually owned a golf course that was in, I believe it was Gilbert, Arizona. If not, it was Chandler, Arizona. He would I can't remember. I think it was Gilbert, though. Um, but either way... Regardless of where it was, it was in Arizona, and it was a golf course. That's all that it's needed to know. He owned it. Well, rephrase. He owned part of it. He owned one-third of the golf course's ownership. Who are the other two? Thirds. Well, they were two of his friends at the time who are going to go unnamed for confidentiality purposes and just due to the fact that I'm just trying to be vague about this story anyway. These three individuals ran the golf course for quite some time, but there came a point where they had to have like a management type meeting to discuss how to approach a circumstance. Two of the individuals, including my dad, thought the same idea would be a good idea, where one separate individual thought otherwise, like an opposite idea would be a good idea. You can only imagine which one, which idea ended up coming into fruition because of this kind of factor. But not just that. Because of this factor, it led to arguments that kind of broke, not permanently and not to a degree where there's no speaking, but it broke a friendship between my dad and the one co-owner. Um, regardless, this was years ago, and they do still check up on each other every now and then. But I can guarantee they don't talk as frequently as they used to. Is this the whole reason? I doubt it. But it definitely had an impact on it. This is the bad example. This, this, this is the good example of the bad side of it. How about the good side? Well, actually, in that sense, I'm actually part of it. My previous job before the one I have now um, was actually working for the same company he did. And for a while, he was my boss. The nice thing about that job is that he actually offered it to me originally. And it took me realistically and... I hold on to this idea for future reference on certain fronts, but it took me a year, more or less, to actually accept the offer. Except when I finally accepted it, I actually had to reach out to him to see if that was still on the table. Um, I got lucky, and it was. But that strays from the topic I'm trying to talk about. My dad and I worked for the same company... I worked, in a way, under him, under him specifically for about a half a year, I believe. After that, I still wor I worked under him, but it was further much so. He was no longer managing the area that I was working in. He gave that job to someone else, who eventually gave it to someone else, who was the last management that actually stood there before I ended up leaving the job. Regardless, it was pretty much a daily basis where I would 
in one way or the other, do some kind of work with my dad. But unlike the previous example I gave, there was never any kind of contradiction to the point where that same type of distancing happened. Now, maybe this is just because, unlike the previous example, I was family, I am his, was, why would I say was? I am his son. But, and, and this other person was like a friend, a close college friend. He was friends with him for a long time. I'm pretty sure it was longer than that, actually. But even then, that may have been part of the reason, but it's a good example of the whys behind it. Understanding. The more you understand about a person, the easier it is to worm your way around things. And it's not just that. Understanding the person themselves isn't the only part. You also have to understand entirely where they come from, why they would say their part, and understand their reasoning for what they say. But you also have to, ex it also has to be a both way thing. If that ends up being, e even if it's the smallest thing, if it just ending up being a one sided thing, that's where the whole idea of don't work with friends or family come from. Because for the most part, for those who this actually do apply to, do or does, I'm not going to think on the English on it right now. For those who it does apply to, yeah, that's actually accurate. It's probably because of the groups of individuals who were close in some kind of way did not agree on a business standpoint that affected their personal standpoint. It's the idea that when you do this, you let your personal life get in the way of your professional life and vice versa. People who are able to avoid this, these are the exceptions of times where you can actually confront it and go, yeah, it'll work fine. But unfortunately, reality states that this isn't a common thing. It's difficult. And this is something I 100% understand. It is very difficult to, for, for a lot of people, not everyone, but I understand that it's a fact that it is very difficult for a lot of people to just distance professionalism or like a professional life from a personal life. It's the same reason, actually, why a lot of people a long time ago would say, and everyone now says it's just bad work ethics to create relations and act on it at the workplace. And sure, some people still create relationships with coworkers, but those who do, if they do it at the workplace, it's bad ethics. But if they do it outside of the workplace, at least it's respectful and it's showing you know how to separate work life from personal life. And that is the main thing. That is why it's said that you shouldn't work with family or friends. It's because it's hard for a lot of people to separate the two. And it's more understandable, especially for those who have studied or observed the psychology or sociology of people in general. Oops. Sorry. But it is understandable. These are my thoughts on it, at least. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to check out any other discussion and rants that we have done on this channel, it's mostly me doing it, but every now and then you will find the rare gem of Pink Fox joining in, or Pink Fox doing it herself. But yeah, if you want to check out any of those, excuse me, click the link on the side of my head where we will show you about 268 plus videos on that front at this point. If this isn't quite floating your boat, but you were more than willing to stick through it the whole way, first of all, thank you. But second of all, maybe if you click the link on this side over here, YouTube will give you um, an idea of something you may enjoy a little bit more.
Either way, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another. See you guys later.